Hi, it's Kelly here, and this is an emergency video that I'm making uh, regarding the news that I just found out about a few minutes ago, and maybe you have heard about it too. Um, and then after that, I will tell you about what's going on with me. But um, in any case, as you might have heard, uh, Iran has said that they have fired uh, up to 100 missile intercontinental or inter, I don't know, medium range missiles at Israel and sent, uh, a, I don't know, a numerous number of drones, I guess they would be attack drones, towards Israel. Israel is going to be responding in kind, they say. I don't know what that means. It's, this is all developing, I, and I'm not an expert on what's going on there tit for tat. What, I, what I'm asking you to do right now is to take your energy, two, I want you to do two things. Turn your heartfelt energizers towards the Middle East. And I'm not promising that it will have any particular outcome because we don't know what the karma is for that area or the world. And we don't know, so we don't know anything about how this is supposed to go. But the idea is, is that we are going to be providing a countless number of fractal frequencies to that area, which means both the Israelis and the Iranians and everyone else that's in that area will be bathed in fractal frequencies and not just one or two or three or ten, but a countless number because our body functions on a countless number of needs for the uh, these irregularly shaped frequencies. That's what fractal means, that there's it's like a mountain range, you know, one is taller than the other and fatter than the other, what have you. And that's what our body depends on to function in our mind and in our heart and everywhere else. So we want to bathe them, to, to bless them with that energy so that whatever is for the highest good can come forward from what's going on right now. The second thing I'd like you to do after you've got your energizers going, and you could even do this as you walk around from room to room or whatever you've got, um, is to gently place your hand on your heart and recall the feeling of the most joyous time of your life. And to bring that joy, that love, and, and your gratitude for it into your heart. So this isn't a thinking process, so it, it is a feeling process. So you remember, recall what the incident was, but then, then feel what it was that you felt at that time. And really feel it, and you can do this for as long as you want. <clears throat> and you can do it multiple times a day. And just feel that love, feel the gratitude that you have, Feel praise to God that you have these abilities to do that, to experience that. And if you want to bring that into your family and your neighborhood and to the world, feel free. So that when you think of Israel, you think of Iran, you think of the Middle East, um, get that feeling going of joy directed towards them of love, gratitude, and praise and forgiveness, if, that, if you need to do that, um, towards them. So that's a present feeling that you have. It's not something you wish for the future. It's something that you're feeling right now. So if we can get an army of people doing the, having the energizers going towards them while we are feeling in the most neutral, blessed place, it will assist them. Because remember, the, the heartfelt energizers help us, if you've read my book, in the physical realms. And that goes from, from 1 to 10 to the 39th power. And I'm not going to try to explain that. It's in the book. Um, it, uh, you know, is there a question that heals instantly? Um, but just understand, this is, it's, it's focused on that physical realm and removes the distractions that we have so that we can go 10 to the 40th, 10 to the 41st, 10 to the 42nd, 
10 to the 4,042nd, you know, which is the spiritual realms of bringing in uh, blessings of love and gratitude and praise and forgiveness. So thank you very much for, for doing that. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is that, I, as I promised, I haven't made a lot of videos. I've had a return of the problem with my leg because I went to physical therapy and they had aquatic therapy and I was all excited about it and it was the wrong decision to make. The salt water that was in, the, in there and uh, there's also some chlorine that's generated from the salt water in some process and it has brought back the problem on my uh, right lower leg. And I've been working on it, it's, you know, and I, it's lowered my energy to so not making videos and think, you know, it's when I think about stuff, it's like I, I just don't even want to, you know, devote my energy to thinking about stuff. So uh, hopefully, you know, I'll get it restored. I thought about going back to the wound center because they did help me get to a certain point with it. However, <clears throat> They use steroids, and you know, steroids have a limited use. And after a while, it starts to rebound. So I'm not sure that that's the way to go. So I'm holding off on that. I, I am having uh, pretty much constant burning around there. It's like a, the skin is peeling off, and, there's, and, it's, and that peeling area has spread. And so it's like a second degree burn. Uh, maybe it doesn't hurt quite as much as a second degree burn, but it, it's certainly distracting. And. Um, so, and all the different lotions that I've tried, uh, only, the only thing that works is, is my own mixture of olive oil, uh, lavender oil, rose oil. That helps somewhat and it allows me to go to sleep at night. Um, and beyond that, I haven't really found anything. Oh, well, I did find, let me see if I have it. Where did I put it? Oh, uh, it's a, it's an organic, aloe vera and it helps but it, I go through the bottle in a couple two three days it's just too costly for me to, to keep buying it um, because it, it, it only it, it it has temporary effects it feels good takes away the burn and it might only last a couple hours um, so anyway um, so that's where I'm at with that and it's you know it's really a message that don't count on me to to bring what's we need for this earth you with your energizers and with your ceiling fans with the with the twisted copper twizzle sticks you are bringing forth this new age because even if i'm still alive if i don't have the energy to really promote it to talk about it or whatever um, you know, then it, it, it kind of dies out a little bit. And, but by your doing it and getting results and sharing it, we're creating an army to bring this world to a place of gardens of Eden. And that's what it's all about. We wanna, we wanna feel in our hearts the most, just the, the most uh, joyous time we've ever had and we want that to be a way of life for ourselves, for our family, for everyone. Well, we th thank you. You take care. May God bless.